We're here at the NEC for the 2022 Motorhome and Caravan Show. We're going to take you on a whistle-stop tour and look at the best innovations that we found while we're here. So stick with us. We're excited to have our own van life shop where you can pick quality items that we personalise ourselves. It's a great way to support our channel and grab a unique gift for yourself or someone special. Visit us at explorevan.uk forward slash shop. We attended the show on Saturday, which we knew would be busy. Whilst the journey to the show and getting parked was totally painless, there was quite a queue to get through security into the venue. However, this did move pretty quickly and it only took 10 to 15 minutes, but it clearly showed the popularity of the show. Once inside, given the show was spread over 11 huge halls, it didn't feel too busy and there's plenty of spaces to get away from any crowds. We didn't have any issues getting around what we wanted to see and though there were a few small queues for some of the more popular vans, it was nothing that bothered us. Overall, the range of camper vans and motorhomes, in addition to caravans, was extensive, from the large manufacturers to smaller converters, and the main attraction to us was to get to look in all the different layouts and any new features being showcased, which we'll share some of our favourites later in the video. There really is nowhere else you can see this many motorhomes and camper vans with different layouts under one roof. This included from the smallest of campers up to massive ones, where the garage was about the size of our van. Being able to get inside so many vans was great. Whether you are considering a new van or looking for ideas for layouts for your own custom or self-conversion. In addition to the vehicles, there were also interesting talks from gadgets to trips, technical advice to cooking, plus plenty of accessories and supporting products and services to check out, with some pretty good show offers. Now let's take a look at some of our highlights. The electric lowering bed in a number of vans and seen here in action in Pilot's V633M Premium is a consideration for giving a good flexibility for load space versus sleeping space. Globecar's multi-seating options demonstrated how flexibility in seating can allow you to configure a van easily for different amounts of travelling seats. Wildax's new Altair was the one of the vans designed for use without LPG proving how far lithium batteries and charging options have come, with fridge induction hobs and microwave all running from battery, and a 3 kilowatts inverter. RP Motorhome's gas-free Rebellion 2 packs all of this lithium and electrical tech into an all-wheel drive sprinter with a top-notch spec. So with mainstream converters now going the electric route, it shows what can be done. The Dreamer Campervan XL Limited showed a way to innovatively combine the shower room and the wardrobe so that you can have a separate shower area but still make use of the space it takes up easily and effectively when you're not showering with this swing out wardrobe accessible from both sides. Mervy's Pimento XLSB shows a great way to convert a sofa into either two single beds or a double, so you have the flexibility to choose what suits, avoiding you having to snuggle up when travelling with a friend, but being able to when you're with your partner. As well as introducing Sprinter models to the IH motorhome range, their N630RL showed how installing a caravan style habitation door not only avoids the whoosh bang sound us panel van conversion owners are used to, but also makes more of the space in the van around what would be the sliding door usable.
The Heimer Venture S was a beautiful van, but the killer feature was the pop top or instant loft as they call it. Accessed up proper stairs, the pneumatic wall provides greater insulation from heat and cold, but also light and noise, and really do make it feel like a room. Remember that microwave in the Wild Axe? Well, it was this 700 watt model from Dometic. As we well know, the turntable in a microwave can be a painful rattle and annoying to clean. So after seeing this flatbed design, we've got this one on our list of wants. And while we're with Dometic, True Living Area Aircon has also been on our list, but our roof is full. This underbunk unit could be fitted in even the smallest of vans. With quite a few entertainment system manufacturers at the show, Alpine were the one that stood out to us. With high quality audio, easy user interface, navigation with vehicle size settings and integrated park for the night. They ticked lots of boxes. As well as being available with mount kits for most popular fans. Whale are a well-known brand in caravan and campervan water products, but have also branched into heating. Their innovative underfloor LPG water heater and space heater would be a great replacement for the carver solution we currently have when the time comes, and will give us back quite a bit of space inside the van. The Pronto windbreak from Outdoor Revolution is something that really appealed to us. When we don't want to put up our full awning, a windbreak is something we use quite often, but ours is a pain to put up and take down, needing at least two people and sometimes more, as it's really fiddly. The Pronto really does make the task more simple, and it packs away to a small size. Trailer Vision UK had a great demo of the OmniView 360 digital HD camera system, giving a surround or bird's eye view superb for manoeuvring and parking. But coupled with a digital video recorder, it would also be a good safety and security solution. Another relatively new product was the Fire Safety Stick Extinguisher. Amongst other features, having a 15 year shelf life, no need for servicing, a much longer discharge time and much easier to use than a 1kg dry powder extinguisher makes it something to consider having in your van. That's only a small selection of the highlights of the show. We really enjoyed and found it well worth the money. So if you get the chance to attend a future event, we would really recommend it. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.